in supply. Uh, but now he knows the Brute Lord is on his way, so I presume he has to make some Vikings, but yeah. he, he needs also needs the medevacs, uh, and he has... Oh my god, he has only one starport? Yeah, yeah he only has one starport. to have a second starboard. one, because now there will be... Well, we don't actually see anyone in production, but a ton of corruptors on the way would be to... Why is supposed yeah. to wanted to go, but... He has to make medevacs, and I think he wants to make vikings, but he actually can't. Now he's starting to, uh, the viking production. Um, to deal with the brute lords. Well, Arnie's here is actually double expanding, so he is trying to get this up. But Delirium's is getting his own new base as well. It's yeah, frighteningly even. It's still three dream marines, and those are terrifying. Yes, indeed. Brutalors are 2-1 though, so they're not really bad themselves. No, I, I'd have to say that these players are on a whole other level than uh, the previous players. Yeah, but I would actually Oh, say nice building hits there. Got a lot of marines what you want. Yeah, but it's a de decent split, so he's, he's still kind of keeping up, and now the Broodlord is coming into play. Yeah. So he has to back off. Viking is coming in. Is There's no anti-air for the Deliriums. All of these Broodlords might die because they're so goddamn slow. <laughs> well, the two Corruptors in the making. I have to... In the, the making, corrupt? but there are no, none here. No. <laughs> The Queen is coming out to assist, and this is actually what saves the Brood Lords. <laughs> well, I think uh, I think it was because Arnish actually backed off yeah, the way where he needed to. If he could have focused at least on one of those Brood Lords. It's also on 44 health right now. Brood Lords is a pretty nice addition. I, I love seeing uh, a lot of Brood, Brood Lord plays in the current StarCraft games. You don't really need to do only a Brood Lord and Infestor, just having a couple of them. Yeah. will do a ton of difference. And it seems like Arn is... A, yeah, he really, really wants to take a fifth. Yeah, if he can get this one off, I think uh, Delirium's is gonna be in quite some problems. Both of them are banking up a lot of gas. And uh, they're, they're really low on minerals, so... Yes. Uh, Arnis has been on a ton of gas for quite some time. I think Delirium's just recently bulked up. Yeah, and you can see the um, up here, uh, Arnis is not taking the gases because he knows that he has more than enough. Oh, here comes the engagement. Oh, I think that's quite good for Arnis actually. Uh, yeah, it is. You don't want to engage half your army of side creep. Yeah, um, now he's gonna pick off all the corruptors. Oh, nice up. fungal! It hits a ton oh. of marines. But it's it's still far from enough. Yeah, the medevacs are healing them back up. Now, I think... Uh, Arnie's got a significant advantage from this uh, push Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna snipe off two of the brute lords at least. Yes. He died pretty quickly. And if you can just throw down some scans and get rid of these creep tumors, that would help him a lot. But uh, he doesn't care, he just wants to kill stuff. And the surgeons are yeah. coming in at. Against three. Whoa, against nice split here. Again, Artist is showing us some really nice planes here. Yeah, but these three team marines are really cleaning up house. Yeah. If you're a Bioterran and you get up to 3-3, three, three, that's a spot you want to be in that's going to be much easier for you than it is for the Zerg, naturally, or in most cases, it will. Yeah, I think I think this is going to be the GG moment. Unless they have to deal with Optimus, that's different. Corruptors going down, Evil Chambers going down. It's just drilling a hole here, so I think yeah. this has to be GG. GG! I actually thought that uh, Delirium was going to win this game. Yeah, he Getting... pressed on pretty nicely, but the uh, 
Um, the last engagement where he just threw half of his army away off the creep, that was uh, very strongly in Mars' favor. Yeah, it really was. And the 3 tree upgrade really made the change. Yeah. Okay. You can go, you're fine. in a minute or so so I'm back again had to mute the microphone so you didn't have to hear the mouth watering sounds oh I think the stream would survive <laughs> <laughs> probably would So, Star Station. Second game in the same semi-finals. Wow. This weekly has been rather long. So far. It's been one and a half hours and we're just done with one and a half series. In the top left corner we have the blue Zerg by the name of Deliriums. And in the bottom right, we have our red uh, Terran player, T.A.W. Arnish. I have no idea what the team is, but... It's just lagging slightly to Alta, but I was afraid I still had the overlay on. That would be bad. <laughs> I think you can get some automatically things. It depends on what program you're using, but um, when you're changing screens, well, if, if the game starts, it's going to change screens for you automatically. Oh, yeah, I think... I think I could do something like that. I can at least bind the overlays to hotkeys and such. such. I haven't bothered yet, because most of... Mostly every button on the keyboard is used for StarCraft. So I need that. Why right here, Johnny? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Okay. I'm just trying to look at openings, see if you can see something different, something proxy-ish, something aggressive, Reaper opening from Tarnished at least, and I think it'll be a hatchery in the pool from Deliriums, just like last game. There we go. Drone is on his way, making the hatchery. Making hatchery. Oh, and StarCraft 3 coming out, WarCraft 4. Uh, next year, I think. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> trademark. Soon. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> StarCraft 3. Yeah, that's an actually an interesting idea. Coming soonish, I think, TM. So, hatch pool gas. So. Early speedlings to try to punish what? <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's just a regular timing to get early map control. Yeah, I guess it's gonna be due to the Reaper coming out, I believe. When uh, the third goes for um, the um, 
metabolic boost this early. They uh, will have the map control until the Terran player gets either Medivax or Hellions. Oh, and this has got a big uh, drone transfer uh, thing. I think we'd better actually rally the drones instead of actually moving them. Yeah, there's no point in moving all of them. No, because you you are not fully saturated on your main base, yeah. and you're still gonna use drones to produce buildings, the second extractor, etc. Let's actually have them. And this reaper is yeah. There we go. Moving in, trying to scout. I remember when the reaper had the grenade attack that did like a ton of damage to buildings. Yeah, two reapers in a in a bunker outside yeah. of your natural GG. <laughs> That's no way back. You couldn't put up spy crawlers. You couldn't put up hatcheries. You couldn't put up anything. Okay, so Arnish is actually looking for a third base, um, but it. That's kind of pointless because he know there is two queens and two links, so it should be kind of impossible for Deliriums to have a third base, unless he has some super macro skills that no one has figured out yet. Or he could have been skipped on drones. That can happen too. Yeah, it could happen. Um, Still, you see some pros get their uh, new hatchery in 5:30, even at five. I don't know how quite how they do that, but yeah, but but having two links and two queens at the same time—that's uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I would say at this level, if you see two links and two queens, you kind of know that there's no third hatchery going on. I suppose there's no, some truth in it, but then again, with this kind of league, you never really know, as you said. Yeah, but he even knows there. Yeah, well, he knows there is gas, but if you have unten unintentionally been skipping drones, then you can actually afford quite a lot of things. Yeah, you could. But now he sees, he sees the drone count, he sees the links, he sees the bailing mess. Yeah, he saw everything here. Yeah. So nothing not to see side for this newly born hatchery. So he, he knows there is quite a few links. Uh, the amount kind of throws me off because why do you want to make six links and keep them I <coughs> I in your base? Yeah. So I would kind of expect bailing bust at this point when you see the bailing nest. I think that's why he expanded to mess with his opponent really, and he's going for uh, three more extractors and a spire. This is gonna be a three base mute to play. And then you should throw down the, um, the guys on the guys on the third as well right now. That would be a good timing. This is a pretty nice switch here for Delirums. I think he originally intended for go for Baneling Bus maybe. But now that he goes for the Spire and he his opponent has seen a two base Baneling nest. Then you yeah. can pretty much assume that his opponent, well he has to scout though to confirm it. But Arnest has... Uh, is now making sure that no baneling bust can kill him. Well, he actually, <clears throat> if he was expecting a baneling bust, he should be making two more bunkers, like yes, spread more out back. I behind. think sometimes in gold this actually is enough, sometimes, but it's not nearly enough. And uh, most of the time, you need, yeah. as you said, a couple of extra bunkers. The forward would mine would get a lot of good hits if this was a baneling bust. But now the spire is done, but it's uh, it can't uh, deliriums can't make too many muta mutas. It can make three mutas. Um, yeah, it's going for the upgrades before anything. Uh, one muta on the way. Hooray! <laughs> yeah, I think the gases on his third was way too late. We were a little too late, but the gases on the. Uh... I'm not sure really. I think you yeah. should have had four gases when the uh, before the spire was put down actually. Yeah, when you want to make a spire, you want to start banking up gas and you yeah. preferably want to be saturated at least at two bases. But he has only have two um, drones in this geyser. Uh, he has misrallied the third one. <laughs> 